Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Season is over. Uh, we finished 864 on the Mythic Ladder. Um, so new season means we are gonna race. Um, usually a fun competition amongst a number of players. Uh, first one to try to get Mythic um, each month. Uh, so I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll give it a shot. And I wanted to try out some brews. We're on plat tier four, so it is the brew floor. Um, this is a deck I want to try, but we are practicing for MIQ. This is a Rakdos Snow Ramp Ugin control deck. Um, so there's like the mono red Ugin list. Um, this is using black with a snow package to get uh, better removal than the mono red version. Uh, there's a lot of mono white, there's a lot of mono red, uh, not as much Sultai. So we're hoping to dodge the Sultai matchup and play against uh, just creature decks. Um, so we have Frostbites as removal, two to three damage with our snow package. Uh, Erebus's intervention is really good to uh, shrink down things, exile graveyards, gain new life. We got Heartless Act, Soul Shatter to deal with like dragons and big things. Um, this removal is flexible to hit Planeswalkers as well if needed. Um, we got Bone Crusher Giants, uh, Extinction Event, and Shadows Verdict as our sweepers of choice. Um, and then we kind of try to ramp up with either Solemn Simulacrum or with five mana. Uh, you can cast Iron Craig Feet and then turn five. Um, play out a Ugin and then just sweep up the board. Uh, going Rakdos also gives us access to Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. Um, generally you will be casting this for its Planeswalker side um, and then just get some card advantage out of it. And speaking of card advantage, we got Tomes. Colorless gains us ca card advantage, gains us life, um, what we want to be doing. Um, I usually like playing a couple Valakit's Awakenings in these types of decks. Uh, it's a flexible card where if you have a handful of removal, and a deck you're playing against a deck that doesn't really need to have uh, removal for you can kind of put away the bad half of your hand and then shuffle that away um solemn also can draw you cards and then ox is a way to refill your hand once you do all the trading one for one our mana base is pretty simple uh mainly snow covered swamps and mountains uh with some sulfurous miles it's the tapped dual snow land um, we're not going to play the pathways because we want to maximize snow as much as possible for these frostbites as well as the faceless havens this might be incorrect i want to try some games um the crawling barons might be a better option than the faceless havens um so we'll see about that um field of ruin is a concession to the creature lands so we want to be able to take those out and then one castle lockwing as some card advantage the sideboard is kind of here to take on a couple different matchups we have agonizing's remorse for the more controlly matchups salt eyes um roiling vortex we so basically my plan against control decks is bring in agonizing remorse roiling vortex and phoenix of ash and kind of pivot to more of an aggressive slanted deck um this is also good against salt eye ultimatum just so they can't kind of combo out and win uh eliminates elspeth nightmares extinction events come in against the more aggressive decks and then tegrid is something I want to try out um, against like slower decks or against Doom decks. Uh, even against Sultai, when their Sagas go off, you get control of their Saga. Um, so something I want to try out. This one's more of a fun of, uh, kind of a card I've wanted to play since Kaldheim comes out, but just never had a chance to. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We are at the floor, new season. Let's give it a shot. Do let me know if there is any decks you'd like to see. Um, as always, try to play a mix of popular decks on the ladder um, and viewer decks. Amadeus. So at this point, we're like 33 minutes into the new season. So all these plat ones are likely going to be mythic level players at past. Okay, so it gets a Yorian hand. This actually doesn't do much. You know what? Okay, we'll keep six. Let's put away Shadow's Verdict. I might just concede game one. Our main board's not well suited against the Orion. Okay, I just want to see that they're Sultai. It's worse if they're like um, Demir Control. Okay, if they're going black, black. So I kind of feel. 
silly now. So part of the reason is I want to use this Valakit's Awakening. Okay, there. Mardoom. Uh, it's fine. If they want to take the Valakid Awakening, they can. I guess I could have played this tapped. They might take like Erebos' Intervention. Let me highlight over it so it's one that they want. Against Mardoom, we can probably sweep up their board. Yeah, I should have played this out maybe. I'm just going to get aggressive with the Bone Crusher. Mm. So with Doom... I think we're just going to take the card draw. Just do this. I, I don't expect us to win game one against Mardoom. I guess that would have been fine. We'll give them the, the token here. I think just getting ahead on cards is fine. So what you can do here is a cool trick is with the trigger on the stack because they don't have more effects. Hey, quick. Thank you. I don't know how much we're going to be. This is a brew, so will be interesting to see here. So we have to discard a card. It's probably just the intervention here. Actually, you are a turn late. Um, the way our hand's shaping up. Just get another red source. We're more red than anything. If we can get Ugin down, then it's good. Uh, they got the ECD, and now they'll blink with ECD. Not great. Um, so I'm just going to do this. I expect them to do this, but I want to get this out of the way. Ah, um, oh, you know what? I messed that up. I needed to do it before the trigger went on the stack. We'll blow this up on instep because they put the tax on us. That was a mistake. How'd you finish last month quick? Take them off tricolor. Not too worried here. So I'm just going to play this out as a land. We just want to get to this Ugin on curve. Play this out. This will keep this back. Probably bait out some more removal out of their hand. Don't see much Mardoom on the ladder, actually. Our deck's not really suited for this matchup. Mm. 
And they're going to make us discard, so... Feels bad, man. So we got punished here with the inscription, too. They know we're on some Ugin nonsense now. Um, so do this. I need to do this to get enough cards in my graveyard for the ox. Just get another... I'll probably get another red source. Okay, so this is why we do play the ox. You just get to kind of cycle through. sucks. Iron Craig won't do much here. Tibble to be decent. So they bring up the Doom. So I'm killing this Heartless Axe actually really nice here. Should have got an extra black source somewhere along the line. Just because I can't hold up Heartless now and act. Cool. That's fine. I actually should have killed the Yorian to kill the Doom. Playing a little sloppy here. Ah, they just naturally draw the other Yorian. So, Ugin on top. Solemn. Does not do it. How far off were we? A bit off. Yikes. Okay, so this matchup is where I just want to go aggressive. Phoenix of Ash, Roiling Vortex, Tegrid. These are actually more useful just to get rid of their graveyard. Erebos' Intervention's out. Frostbite's out. Valky's just going to be a creature in this matchup. So they have multiple Yorians. I also don't think we want Iron Craig feet. Ah. Opponent did not want to play against the Ugin deck. We'll take that. It's fine, opponent. I didn't want to play against you either. Post board, we get a lot better. Doom has a much better matchup against this game one, I think. Unless we could sneak through a Nugin, but they seem to be playing more discard. Inscription might be an interesting card just for the flexibility. Um, this sounds good. We just need a land and we can start going into Solemns. Perfect. Um, these field of runes aren't going to do much for us, admittedly. If we can draw one of our many sweepers. So 
So just play that out. So they're boarded with the Phoenix main. Play out Solemn here, go get a red source. Um, so this is, they have a stomp. Just take the one damage here. Rather this trade with something bigger. If they have like Annex or something. Yeah. Hard cast Bone Crusherino. I guess that's actually not bad because it keeps them off Henge. So maybe we should have done that. Because they'd have to direct the mana. They wouldn't have enough to play out the creature. Is this likely Henge? Or uh, Cleef? Oh, no, just Rim Rock Arena. They get in three damage. We get to draw a card. Tome's not bad. But I think we're just trying to play out to this Ugin. Um, just do this. Because if we get Ugin down, then we're in a pretty good spot. Two, three, four. Block here, throw a Bone Crusher. I could Bone Crusher my own, but it's probably not worth it. So we're taking seven here. Extinction Event's not bad. So even if we miss a land, we have a vent. Oh, that works. Oh, that works. Do I have enough for, so if I do this, I can play this out. I can play this out. Play this out. And then I can start gaining some life back with this. They're a short one card from being able to play Phoenix. We're just gonna start cranking this up. Solemn's not bad on the ground. I think I want like a Heartless Act or something though. Another Eugene's nice. So I don't want a Field of Ruin here. Because I want to save it for their thing, their Faceless Havens. So they need a spell here and then be able to. We're going to take four off the Annex. That's fine. So another Iron Craig. So the decision here, I can do this here. Let me take a draw step first, see what we get. Okay, so we're gonna gain some life next turn anyways. They can't do the Phoenix in that. So I th think this turn. Just do this. 
get another one of these going. No need to attack here. Their Phoenix is the play, but we're in a pretty good spot. Can hit my Ugin. Ah, my faceless. So they hit me for four here. Yeah, we're just gonna sweep the board and eventually gain enough life to kill him that way. So we want another extinction event. The eliminates. And then these, um, Ugin's still fine. Soul Shatter doesn't play to the board, neither does Ox, which is awkward here. We need one cut, which is probably just go down an Ugin. We have Valky, we're just killing everything. We don't want two Ugins in hand at a given time. I think we're just running it like this. They didn't see Extinction Event either that game. In that sense, not anywhere near. Well, it's not great, but it's not bad. I think we're doing this. Two removal spells. That's going to be good. Need a land here. Beverino. Nope. How about an eight drop? Because if we hit a land, then we just curve into the Shadow's Verdict, anyways. Heartless is just objectively better. They could have like Rimrock here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we Heartless on the Annex. Ooh. We are going to take the chance to take him off the land here. Because now I can go into Shadow's Verdict. Extinction Event is also really good here. So they can cleave me. So if they cleave me, that's 2, 5, 6, 12. So I'm dead if they have cleave, so I have to play it this way. So Solemn. No red mana this game is kind of awkward. Come on, land. Untapped land. Untapped land. Yeah. Solemn will go get me my red source now. No red mana needed. No red mana needed. I honestly don't think we need this Tigrid. It's pretty bad for like what we're trying to do game plan wise. I think we probably just want 
Mm. Probably just want like another soul shatter for a way to exile. Nobody's really playing walkers. It's probably just another remorse to be honest. Let's do it that way. Let's go. Playing against Nagan Frogger. Sounds fine. Just need to survive till turn four. No value. Kill it now. This could be the squirrel version. Honestly, if they want to attack, pay a mana and trade. Even better. So they're like Selesnia. So here, same idea, get them to trade. Take that. I think I want to try to catch them on one more spell. So it's actually really good drawing Solemn here. I could force them to commit more to the board. We'll see if they're Naya. Oh, it looks like just Selesnia for now. Let's go get another red source probably. Having a lot of exile is really good against like hallow blades and the such. Okay, just mauling. It's a little unfortunate I don't get the card draw. Play something else out. They don't have the giant killer. So I can, with the Frostbite, it gives me a turn like this. So I can just try to race them here. I want to try to get more off this Extinction event. They're not like blowing me away here. I will get rid of that and keep my Solemn. Hopefully they play an odd creature here. They could have Giant Killer. Which do I care about? Not really. Let's 
fine. Their turns probably anyways play out this giant killer. Love struck. Easy games. Easy games. Cool. Take two. really doesn't do anything. If they want to equip, that's fine. Iron Craig's a bit slow here. We might not even want Iron Craig, to be honest. It's like a dead card, unless you have exactly Ugin. I think I'm going to cut it. Play more interaction. Rather just like a Valakit's Awakening or something. Eddie... Odd. Solemn, sad robot beat down. We're just going to Valakit's Awakening here. Don't want you. Nah, more Lance isn't great. That is. So it's like Selesnia aggro. I'm gonna take out one of their lands just to shuffle Toski. I just wanna thin out my deck at this point. Ugin's lethal. Kill him with dragon fire. Extinction event, nightmares, eliminates, all good here. Um, gonna get rid of the iron crags. Very good against Toski. Also very good against Toski. I think in this matchup on the play, they do have quite a bit of indestructible. Maybe on the play we trim one Ugin because we do have these nightmares as well. Um, I kind of really like everything else. Maybe trim one tome. Nightmare's not great because they have a lot of indestructible stuff. I would assume they're on Naya, but like they fetched, so you think that they would get red mana. Let's go like this. Easy keep. Turn two, turn, turn three, turn four, turn five, ideally. Hopefully not Hallow Blade. That's a Hallow Blader. It's fine. We got cards out of their hand. They can go to like equipped and then we just force it out of them. Them discarding this is good for us. Ridane is a pain, Miss Ridane. 
All our lands are snow. Well, wouldn't you know? I need to frostbite here so I can extinction event next turn. I should have probably done that on my turn because of the snake skin, whatever it's called. They might be playing that. Just another Redain. Redain, Redain, Redain. I'm going to cast this extinction event, opponent. You will let me. One of the downsides, Redain's very good against us. Can probably take a... Oh, okay, now we're Extinction Event. Let's see what's going on in opponent's hand. Bye! I think that's a kind of silly move by the opponent. Just because, like, you're committing... You saw Extinction Event last game, so to commit more to it. I think we're playing this out, playing this out. I want them to do this so then I can Shadow's Verdict. And then I get a token out of it. Child, child. Uh, I think we want lions at this point. That's also very good. Bye. Bye, friends. This is also good against Toski. Bye, friends. This deck's actually been really sweet. Quick rank up. Get a pack out of it. Old growth draw. Turns out when all your cards are exile. Opponent on the plate. This hand's probably fine. Can just use Valky as a stopgap if an aggro deck. I can try to steal if it's like mono red, like a bone crusher giant or something. So gruel. Cool. I will become you. So they can mutate on top if they want. They can, it's pretty much their turn. That's fine. If they want to attack in, then I just become a copy.
Did they draw a stomp? Are you kidding me? That's mildly annoying. So I think we need to, because this trample is going to be relevant, I need to find a an extinction event or something. Or just be able to hard cast this Valky. I think we just take the draw here. The trample has actually been quite relevant here. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. So they can play a bunch of spells, make this really big with trample. I need to survive a turn. How best do I survive said turn? Because I need the Valky. I think I'm dead regardless. This just being four CMCs really hurt me. They're gonna do that, I'll take it. Actually, I should have waited one more turn. Four. If I Valky this turn, I exile this. I'm at six, they have enough to kill me. Oh, okay. You're giving me a chance. They are giving me a chance. I will take said chance. Because I can try to draw into Ugin here. I do this, I still have enough. For Shadow's Verdict, I just need to thin out my deck. I think they should have just attacked. I need to try to draw into Ugin in this game. I'm just drawn a lot of lions. Also have the option of Valakit's Awakening to draw a bunch of cards for potentially Extinction Event. They're getting two counters per spell though. Stop me for two. Yeah, they're not being dumb. Okay, let's not show them that we have the Ugin. We just got a little unlucky there. Extinction event, nightmares, eliminates, um, trim. I think I do want Ugin in this matchup. We forgot to get rid of the Iron Craig feats. They are going to go pretty wide, but Ugin's still pretty nice. Soul Shatter is probably not as useful. I think I want targeted removal. Honestly, can probably get rid of the ox, play one of these. Okay, let's do this again. Them drawing like, we stole their Bone Crusher and they drew exactly Bone Crusher was mildly infuriating.
we couldn't really play around them just once they start chaining together their um skulls it's pretty hard to win Probably take out the giant killer, which is kind of advantageous. Sounds good. We need one more black source, but we can get there. Erebos's intervention will also be nice. That's our other black source. We just chillin'. Clothis. That's fine. We can sweep that up with Ugin. Their start's been pretty slow. We can also always just exile stuff from our graveyard. No attacks here. See if I can steal a Scalds. I'm going to heap this up for Bone Crusher. Okay, they hit the Scalds. Do they have a land? Well, their hand itself is basically dog shit. Um, I think I'm just doing this. Draw a card, kill this thing. Just Shadow's Verdict. that think we're probably gonna be blocking yeah we're gonna be blocking here I want to try to find Ugin their hands basically garbage at this point Ooh, Valky So if they draw one one, I'm kind of screwed. So I think what we're doing is Elspeth's Nightmare this. Play out this. Oh, why would you do that? Ah, oh, it didn't hold up Frostbite.
I want them to commit these other bone crushers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I draw another land, then I'm able to Valky XL. They're getting close to turning on Clothis as well, but they have another Clothis. So it shouldn't be our game plan. Actually, don't mind that. Giant killer. Alright. No attacks. We get to exile their graveyard. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. So they have Clothis. So Ox is actually pretty bad here because we're less likely to cast it and get value off it. And I don't think we're winning off that. No black source yet, but one line gets us there. Opponents mulliganing as well quite aggressively. Bit unfortunate for the opponent. Multi four. We just curve out removal removal here. Just take the one here, see what they do. This lets me get Frostbite going and set up my draws. I can kill whatever they play out. All right, we were gonna kill it. So that was a, a like the first game against Mardoom was kind of rough, but against the creature decks, we just bullied them. I'm really happy with this deck. So we will wrap it up. Snow control. Honestly, I don't think you need these Iron Craig feats. I'd probably just say go up an Ugin. Go up an Erebos' intervention. Or even um, No, I'd probably keep the Ugins at three. Bring the two nightmares main. And then, because these are at least duress effects in the control matchups. Have your Roilings, have your Eliminates. I think you want to go up the full four extinction events for the creature matchups. And you can probably play like duress. There's epic downfall. You just want like a hit their hand style effect. Or honestly, I played it. Maybe Valky in the control matchups. Just like another kind of planeswalker threat. Farika's libation is interesting. 
gets them to sacrifice like a doom or like a clothis yeah maybe do that because it's also good against doom foretold for remorse yeah i think i'd keep it like this this is probably where i'd leave it off anyways appreciate everyone stopping by as always um you can catch all my stuff on my youtube channel thanks for watching have a great one